Bread and Life Jesus About Himself One day, some people came to Jesus and asked him, What do we have to do to please God? Just believe in me and follow me, because God himself is the one who sent me. Give us a sign that this is true. Give us bread from heaven just like Moses gave bread that came from heaven a long time ago to our ancestors. It was not Moses who gave our ancestors this bread. It was God himself. This bread gives life to all the world up to this present day. Give us this bread. I am that bread. If you eat my body and drink my blood, you will have eternal life. Jesus knew that he would have to die and that everyone who believes in him would be saved. As a symbol of this death, Christians celebrate the Lord's Supper. Wine is used to represent the blood of Jesus and bread to represent his body. In that supper, we remember that Jesus had to die so that we could live and be forgiven of our wrongdoing. But the listeners didn't understand and were confused, how can we eat you? This is barbaric. There is no other way. God my Father has sent me. I am the only one who has seen him. Without me, you cannot come to him. When they had listened to all of that, many of them turned away from Jesus and left, even some of his close friends, whom he called disciples. After that, Jesus asked the twelve apostles, who were his closest friends, what do you want to do? You are free to leave as well. He knew very well that they did not understand what he said, that they thought it was odd, and that some of them were even angry about his words. Lord, where shall we go? Peter answered, aren't you the one who has the words of eternal life? Jesus was happy about Peter's words, God himself has given you this knowledge. The apostles continued to follow Jesus.